They said space was endless. But no one warned me about the silence. It's been 27 years since I left Earth, or what's left of it. The mission was simple, find a new home. But after the signal blackout, I realized. I might be the last one still searching. Until tonight. A transmission appeared, from Earth. A voice I thought I'd never hear again. If you can hear this, Eli, I'm still waiting. Time moves differently here. I don't know if you're alive, but I need to believe you are. The skies are red now. The oceans are gone. But I still look up, hoping you'll come back. It felt like she was right here with me, but this message was sent 60 years ago. I hear you, Mira. I made it past the wormhole. The world you remember. It's gone. But if anyone ever finds these words, tell her I tried. Her voice faded, like a memory trying to escape time itself. Some say time bends, others say it breaks. Maybe it just remembers. I'll send this one last echo into the stars. Maybe someday, somewhere, someone will hear her voice, and mine. Because even light can fade, but love still travels. Pause for a second. Everything you just saw so was made entirely with free AI tools. Let me show you how, it, how they built it from scratch. Let's start with the first tool, Meta AI. Just type Meta AI on Google, click the first link and sign in. It's completely free. No credit card, no nonsense. And this tool is wild. Scroll down and you'll see what other users are creating. Looks insane, right? You could start typing prompts right here, but that's not what pros do. Instead, click this create button. It opens a new studio panel with full control. Aspect ratio, image or video, style, everything. You can create cinematic, ultra-realistic images and even full motion clips, the kind of visuals that look like a Netflix trailer. But before you rush off to try it, wait, because there's a little trick that makes or breaks your results. If you skip it, your characters will look different in every scene and your video will fall apart. So, don't leave yet. I'll show you exactly how to fix that in a second. Alright, time to create our main character, or it's because every great movie starts with them. My story has two, Eli, a male astronaut, calm, determined, carries the weight of humanity on his shoulders. And Mira, a female scientist, brilliant, hopeful, the voice of reason. You can write your prompts using ChatGPT, Gemini, or any AI you like. I entered my first prompt, set aspect ratio to 16 to 9, hit generate, and just look at that. Four variations of Eli I downloaded, the one that matched my story best. Then did the same for Mira, picked my favorite, saved it, and moved on. Now here's the secret sauce. This is what keeps your movie looking professional instead of random. I have 10 main scenes, and for each one, I've already written an image prompt and a video prompt. Planning like this means your story flows smoothly and you don't waste time fixing broken continuity later. Now, you'll notice in my video I use two kinds of audio. Voice narration, that's the storyteller explaining what's happening or how it feels. And dialogues, where the characters themselves actually speak. If you mess this up, your video feels robotic, So, but I'll show how to balance both. Alright, now the part most people get wrong, um, consistent characters. Look at my third scene. Our astronaut Eli appears again. If I generate him from scratch, Meta AI will give me a completely different guy. Different face, different lighting, sometimes even different race. So here's the trick, that you upload the Eli image you already made and then enter the new scene's prompt. When you upload an image, the aspect ratio automatically locks. That's totally fine. And if it looks off, just hit regenerate. It's free. Seriously, don't settle for the first one. 
That's how you keep your characters consistent from start to finish. Now here's where it gets really interesting, and where most beginners mess up without realizing it. Scenes 4 and 6 are different. These are dialogue scenes, where our characters actually talk. So we're not just making images here, we're preparing them for lip sync animations, and if you don't prepare the images right now, you'll have to redo everything later. So here's what you do. Make sure the character faces forward, eyes open, and lighting is clean. No weird side angles, no dramatic shadows, that's how you make perfect lip sync shots later. I did that for Mira in scene 4, and Eli in scene 6. Just two clean portraits that look cinematic and alive. Now I've generated all 10 images, one for each scene, each one tells a part of the story, and together they look like real movie frames. And in the next part, I'm going to show you how I turn them into animated movie scenes, the part where everything comes alive. Now that we've got all our scenes ready, it's time to bring them alive. And here's where things get fun. We're turning static images into actual animated movie clips. You can directly animate an image by clicking Animate, but the AI moves things randomly. That's why I always click Custom Animate. It opens a new tab where I can type exactly how I want the movement to look. Simple example, slow cinematic pan across a small spacecraft drifting through deep space. Then I hit Animate, wait a few seconds, and boom. My 5 second clip is ready. Now 5 seconds isn't enough, so I click the video, hit Extend, and after a few seconds, I get a smooth 9 second version. Pretty amazing, right? <laughs> a completely free tool giving me footage that looks straight out of a movie trailer, I repeated that for all my scenes, except the 4th and 6th. Those are dialogue scenes, and we're saving them for lip sync later. For now, I just downloaded them as still images, so now we've got 8 short video clips, all around 9 seconds long. And together, they already look like the skeleton of a short film. Next step, we need voices. For that, I'm using a free AI voiceover tool called Love Voice. No login needed, no credit card, just open it and start generating. It supports more than 70 languages, and if you do sign in, you unlock even more voices. Free users can still generate over 10,000 characters per month, so that's plenty to work with. Now listen carefully, here we're not generating the full dialogues yet, we're just creating reference voices, small clips that we will use later for lip sync. So I start with Mira. I test a few voices using this simple line, until one sounds right. Hi, my name is Mira. I'm a young woman in my early 30s. Nice to meet you. Calm, thoughtful, maybe a little nostalgic downloaded it. Then I do the same for Eli. Strong, grounded, confident. Once both voices are ready, I move on to narration, and that's the storytelling part between the dialogues I paste all my narration text into Lou Voice and generate it in one go. It's faster, and when editing later, I'll split it scene by scene. After a few minutes, I have all my audio files. Two character voices and the main narration. Now, we can finally move to the star of the show, Gaga AI. This is where our images start talking. Go to Gaga AI, sign in, and you'll automatically get 200 free coins. But here's the good news, you don't even need them if you're using the Gaga One model. It's completely free, though not unlimited. There's a daily generation cap for free users, usually a few clips per day, depending on server load. So don't waste a generation on a bad setup, I'll show exactly how to do it right. Upload your image, then upload the reference voice we just made. Next, type in your dialogue and animation prompt. You can generate up to 10 second videos in 1080p, completely free. My dialogues were a little long, so I split them into two clips. Here's how I did it. I entered the first few lines, hit generate, and waited a minute or two. If you can hear this, Eli, I'm still waiting. Time moves differently here, I don't know if you're alive. Downloaded the result and you looked great, then I deleted that project, entered the next lines, and generated the rest. That's how you can handle longer scenes without breaking the limit. I followed the same steps for both the 4th and 6th scenes. Yes, there's a small watermark at the bottom, but don't worry. 
You can crop it easily while editing. And that's it. I imported everything into my video editor. All clips, all narrations. Then I lined them up on the timeline, trimmed the voiceovers to match each scene, added gentle background music, a few transitions, and light cinematic effects. And just like that, we've built a complete sci-fi movie scene for zero dollars using only free AI tools. From idea to full scene, all powered by free AI. If you're new to my channel, subscribe now because every week I uncover more tools like this and you won't want to miss them. See you in the next one.